So how do Matchbox cars, Barbie and Action Men stack up against today's high-tech toys? And do modern day parents know how to play with their children? Well, here today to offer some important advice on how different toys can help with a child's development is Dr. Miriam Stoppard. Welcome to Dr. Miriam. Thank you Thank very you. much for being here. So it seems like an obvious thing, but how important is playing with your child? It's the most important thing after feeding your child <laughs> that a parent can do because a child learns through play. They, d they don't learn any other way. And if you're their playmate, their first playmate, and they're learning with you, it is the best learning experience. And you will help promote the development of baby skills, lots of baby skills which are coming on through the first year, and therefore you will help them to reach their full potential. Now to a baby, Play is hard work. Yeah. It's really hard work. And they're using their brains all the time. Do you know that babe, when you're playing with your baby, your baby grows half a million connections in their brain per second. Wow. Isn't that astonishing? It's incredible. So that's how important play is. It's making your baby's brain develop. And in the first year, a baby's brain increases in size three times. That's how important play is. Gosh. So, you know, set aside some time. You're doing your most important and rewarding job when you're down on the floor playing with your child and demoing and encouraging them and praising them as much as you can. So it being that vital to the child's development, it has to be quite important for us to play with the right toys at certain ages. Well, yes, but if you just watch what your baby can do, you can fit the toy to their age and their skills. So for instance, in the up to six months, soft toys, like this one in the range that I did with Galt. Um, this is a lovely soft toy that a baby can actually get their little mitts around and, and can squeeze and it makes noises. Oh then, baby, and, and also you can teach children very early about a very complex adult skill called conceptual thinking, which is what makes a bird. Well, a bird goes tweet, bird has wings, so it flies, bird has a little beak, has little uh, webbed feet, and it flies. You're teaching your child so much. And can you imagine those, in the time that we've just demoed the bird, it's grown five million brain connections. So um, the, the, the next thing that you, you, you would go on to are things which develop manual skills, mm -hmm. hand-eye coordination, um, good vision, and a very simple one would be these bricks, the good old-fashioned traditional bricks, um, which I encourage every parent to have for their children. And what we do is we encourage a child to build a little column and you can actually trace your child's age and it's the point of its development just through this. So you put, you encourage your child to put one on top. A child about nine to 10 months can put one on top. When they get to 11 and 12 months, they can manage, um, they can manage three. One might just drop off, so we start again and they can get three. At 15 months, they can do four, and this is because they're becoming very precise. They're developing all these brain muscle connections, very precise, so that they can make very exact and precise movements. And these are important because they're pre writing skills, would you believe? I'm a great believer in early jigsaws because what a child has to do is to match the shapes together so that they go inside. These little knobs. I've designed specially so that a child can hold them easily. And this is a pre-reading skill. So this very simple toy, three years down the line, which you can play with your child from the age of about 10, 11 months, um, and they'll get better and better at it. Um, and at the same time, you teach them conceptual thinking. So if we let's just take the duck, you say, here's the duck. The duck's got yellow feathers and an orange beak, and the duck goes quack, 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 quack. So, if you take your child into, uh, reading a book and you point to the, a yellow bird with an orange beak that goes quack, 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 the child will know it's a duck long before it can speak. So that is a very good um, toy for uh, developing intellect. And I would say the plastic toys, to, you know, this is like, these are just fun, they're cars. You can teach colors, yellow, blue, red. Our car is green. How does the car go? Brum, 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 brum. Um, so you're teaching your child through toys about everyday life. And then this one, very simple toy. Just, and 
I, you can use it wherever. You can use it just to stack again to, to, um, for, for manual dexterity, but also you can teach volume in the bath, fill it with water. How many cups do we need? One, two, three. So this is smaller and this is bigger. And also, you know, you can use it in the kitchen with flour, in the sand pit with sand, with raisins, with peas, whatever you like. So that is also a highly educational toy. And th th those, I would think, the volume ones, it's kind of getting 15 to 18 months. Mm -hmm. And then once your child is sitting up and crawling, we start with upright toys, walking toys. And I have a walking toy that, you know, helps a child to do develop the walking skills. So rather than being obsessed with a child's age, it's about watching your child and how they're Observe, develop, developing. Observe your yeah. child is an individual from the beginning. Take your cue from them. Great, thank you so much. My thanks to Dr. Miriam Stoppard for joining us. If you want to find out more about toys to help with your child's development, go to gulptoys.com. Thanks for watching, goodbye.